Life like this sure is sweet, huh? Really good looking people here in Vancouver. Boy, Dave's got the 1-800 RV ride. Let's go. This is what we think of Amazon out here. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of No Way Home. Thanks for tuning in. Um, for those that do watch, I am back in Seattle, Washington, as you can tell by the extremely dreary, cloudy, rainy, wet weather that we're having. I definitely didn't miss it. <laughs> like I'm looking at this rain, I, I just out there, I, I was getting lunch with, with a business partner and yeah, I don't miss it. The reason I'm making an episode on like my home life is because this week is gonna be pretty, there's a lot of things happening this week. Like, I mean, I just got back a couple days ago from France, Europe, obviously, I'm still kind of adjusting to the time difference. It's kind of rough. Um, but since I've gotten back, things have been like hitting full speed in terms of like my other projects. Like we just yesterday went under contract with this Texas triplex that my business partner and I were looking at. So like in the next two weeks, we could become homeowners in Texas, which is like, that's bringing a whole lot of new things for us to worry about and, and have to work on. I also just got lunch with uh, another business partner of mine. Uh, we have a, an event production company in Seattle called Vivid. We have some really exciting plans that we talked about. Uh, we have a ton of more events coming up that we're sort of scheduling and, and planning all the PR and marketing for. And I just decided to send it with him to Vancouver, Canada tonight because one of the artists that he works with is performing and we need time just to catch up like my business partner and I and plan some of this progress and, and business development. So I'm gonna send it up there. Ton of like really exciting personal music things are happening. I'm gonna be going on Monday to view some cab or some cabin areas, some land in, uh, in like central Washington that my other buddy purchased recently because we may wanna develop out there. It's just gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a busy couple days and I, I think that it's worthy of an episode. So if you guys like these episodes, you know, Please subscribe, comment, etc. Let me know if you have any questions about what I do or my life or suggestions for how I can. But yeah, right now I am, we just got lunch. Like I said, I'm, I'm going back home. I'm gonna pack and get ready to send it up to Vancouver, Canada. This dang weather, man, it's so depressing. You already know I had to rock my uh, new Aya Terra hoodie. Represent the boys. You know, we cruising up in style. <laughs> kind of cute I don't know what it means but probably gonna go hang out near the venue for a little bit maybe get some drinks and then go to the club Jody goes on tonight at midnight and uh, yeah we'll just pretty much hang out there life like this sure is sweet huh <laughs> executive suite baby for the executive retreat <laughs> exactly it does look like a toy car kind of want to just hop in and scoot on out through that glass I just realized, remember the neighbor complained last night because it was so loud, I guess. I guess I'll have to keep things quiet tonight. So how do you feel last night went with Jody? 
pretty successful. The man's a living legend. Yep. AKA James Jody 007. <laughs> Joe, who's Joe Seven. Yeah, it sounds like we're talking about also doing um, like a summer residency, right? With with somebody maybe like Jody. That'd be cool. Different locations. Yeah. June, July, August kind of thing. I feel like Seattle doesn't really have a residency like program. You know, nobody really is a resident in Seattle. Resident DJ, that is. I think it might be nice to try that. Nice day out here. Vancouver. I like the vibes in here. Pretty cool, right? And and uh, the merch. The merch is like super retro. They got a uh, fitness center here at the JW. Great view. There's a hot tub out over there. But I like gyms and, and hotels that are like this big. There's so much space. I'm trying to get at least a little bit of a workout while I'm here. Last night was fun going out with Jody. It was nice to connect with him, reconnect with my Jody, Vivid Jody, because we do events together. We have some pretty big events coming up. Yeah, now I'm just uh, recovering today. I've been making the switch to more of like a vegan diet. Pretty life-changing in the sense that like I, I have a lot more energy. My stomach doesn't hurt. In other news, the real estate acquisition is going pretty well. We are under contract for that triplex in Texas, which is super awesome. Are the earnest money scheduled to wire to the title company? Today's Saturday, so you know we have a few days to get it done. We'll probably do it on Monday, and then if all goes well, and then you know we'll schedule the inspection. We'll have our official closing date April 14th, which falls right after this Miami festival I have coming up. I'll probably go straight from there because we're gonna do some work, I think, on the house right away. We wanna put up a fence, put up some security cameras, maybe tend to the lawn a little bit, but we also need to meet with like local property managers, um, local handymen, cleaners, things like that, just to start building those connections. And I'm gonna pretty much try to get the, the unit listed ASAP so that we can get tenants in. I don't know if it's weird to say this, but there are a lot really good looking people here in Vancouver, at least where I've been like at the hotel here at the club last night, both men and women, like just people look good. Um, they take care of themselves and they appear to be pretty healthy. Props to you, Canada, for, for keeping that up. Just ended up uh, making this little recap video from the Vivid um, trip this weekend. I think it's good to do like this kind of background stuff. People love watching BTS of shows. So this is on our um, on our TikTok and it'll be on Instagram at some point too. And it looks like it's gonna rain. I guess that's pretty typical for this area. It's like the rain followed me. Like having this time in the hotel is so nice. It's so peaceful, it's so quiet, the Wi-Fi is good. Like everything's clean. Like I get so much work done in a place like this, you know, like it's, it's just very cozy and I'm expecting some company, some friends are coming over, but I've got pretty much everything done for today. So I'm gonna be able to kind of decompress and, and hang out, get some rest. The next day. Looks to be another dreary day. I could definitely go for some Rama, that sounds so good. Well, last night was pretty crazy. I ended up making some friends from Friday night who wanted me to stay an extra day, and I did. And so last night we all went out. Had some drinks, had some fun, went to like an after party. It's really cool. There's um, a few of the clubs out here are able to, and I hope I don't get like in trouble for this. I'm not going to say which ones are able to sell certain drinks past a certain hour. Secret ways to get it, like secret keywords you have to say to the bartenders. So that's a little bit different than Seattle. Like Seattle, you can't really do that unless you, I know a couple spots that might do it, but not like this. I mean, it was popping at like five in the morning. Yeah, now I'm about to go slowly recover. Um, I'm gonna go to the lounge here and, and get some fruit. And then I am taking a bus back to Seattle. So I gotta, gotta start packing and doing all that fun stuff. Made it to Everett, Washington. This is where the, the bus I was on stopped. <coughs> Just waiting here for um, the buddy to pick me up. 
Tonight I'm gonna keep things pretty low key. Gonna go to the parents' house, um, check in with them. My bag from Paris finally got delivered. It got delayed hella because of um, all the strikes and shit. But it's, um, it's arrived, so I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna unpack and uh, get ready to go out sort of like central Washington tomorrow to see this property with my buddy. I woke up extra early today, which for me is like 6.30ish, and uh, went to the gym. Felt great, ran some errands, went to the bank. Um, I'm driving back home right now because I have a pretty important call with an upcoming artist that I'm gonna TM, and we're gonna go over some tour logistics for May. And then right after that, I'm gonna send it up to a buddy's property. He just bought a bunch of acreage out in like central Washington. Gonna go take a look at it, check it out, um, spend the day with him, and uh, maybe talk about developing that land together at some point. I've been doing this thing where I'm trying not to eat like as much food as I used to. Because when I was in France, you know, in Europe, the portions are just smaller in general. And I felt so much better when I wasn't stuffing my face with, <clears throat> you know, massive plates of food <clears throat> like we have here in the States. I've started loving gas station and like grocery store sushi and it's because it's like light it's not too much food usually and i don't feel like crap afterwards but this is probably like the one meal i'm gonna have today i well it sure is pretty out here this is um just about an hour outside of seattle i just had a call with one of my sort of old older friends slash newer business partners with the record label we're planning a show in in portland oregon later this month in april we were kind of on the fence about if we were even going to do the show because one of my other business partners was just feeling kind of overwhelmed which i'm just like okay whatever everyone gets busy you know i want to be respectful and, and give him his space which is good for him and so now i have this other guy that's also kind of involved and we're talking about the logistics of the event and it seems like it's going pretty well. We're gonna do like a 420 themed event. Oh, hold on, this is really pretty, I gotta film this. Yeah, wouldn't mind living there. It's nice. But uh, yeah, anyways, so we had the call, working through some logistics. I think we're probably gonna have a show, knock on wood. We're looking for some local artists. We're gonna keep it all local and yeah, just kind of keep growing the fan base out there. This is the vibe out here in central Washington. Get these little small gas stations just nestled in the mountains. Really pretty. This is Darrington, Washington. This is like the entire town right here. This is pretty. It's pretty iconic. It's so pretty. Our boy Dave's got the 1 800 RV ride. Let's go. <laughs> just like from that movie RV, man. I love it. This campground reminds me of like how I used to camp as a kid with my parents. Not the RV though. Just we would be like on the grass. And some ducks. Nice little water access back here. It's pretty. Blackberry, which is um, yeah, nothing around here. Kind of um, generally, it's not a big deal. Anyway, here's downtown. I came up on the the end side of it. Downtown it's, concrete. Yeah, downtown concrete. Uh, someone had just bought a bunch of these Oh yeah, well that's that's not a comparison. Nothing like off-roading in an RV. Yeah, you definitely got Bigfoot out here, I think. At least one, right? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> this is kind of a flat area. Yeah, this is our first flat area we're talking about. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bruder. There you go. Yeah. But it's got everything intact. This is what we think of Amazon out here. Smoke follows beauty, man. That's what they say. I got too close. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good little trip. I'm really happy for him and for his wife. It's a great piece of land. I think they want to do like some glamping things um, on it to start and then maybe move into a more serious development, some residential maybe, or even talking about maybe some sort of like observatory 
uh, with a partnership with the University of Washington or something like that. Like, I think that could be a huge, um, huge opportunity for them. And I think for me, I'd love to get involved with them. If maybe one day I can put up some, some cabins or something there, it's quite a bit of land. I will say the land is pretty, um, pretty sloped. So it's gonna need some serious landscaping if we wanna have serious developments on it. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy for them. And it's so interesting and funny, like seeing all my friends that I used to sort of party with and, and go out with now making some pretty big moves. Uh, oh, and there's a rainbow right there and I can see the end of it. It's like right on the ground right there, that's insane. So yeah, it actually kind of re-inspires me with the property that we're looking at in Texas. Again, we are under contract. Um, I just today reached out to the local insurance agents um, to get a quote on it, because in Texas, where we're at, we need, we're gonna need flood insurance, most likely. And I also have been looking really heavily into the medium-term rental opportunity with like traveling nurses and the fact that there's a refinery near the home uh, somewhat near the home that could lead to maybe some long-term or medium-term residents. I gotta dig into that more tomorrow. house rather I had a package delivered there from the tour with just some clothing that because of all the strikes that are happening in Europe with the um, with the pension being moved pension bracket being moved back um, it seemed like there was issues at the airport so my luggage didn't make it in time for when I landed in LA so they had to ship it to me and that took more time and so it's finally there some more clothes that I'll have and um, and I'm gonna go home and pack because tomorrow I leave for Fort Myers. We have a, a car a car show that I'm managing um, out there. So it should be fun. It's gonna be nice and warm, hot, muggy, I'm sure. And then I just put a one-way ticket because I don't know what the return's gonna look like yet. I don't know if I'm gonna go maybe to Vegas for a little bit or maybe straight to Texas City if the property, um, if the inspection goes well next week. It's been a fun weekend, it's been a hectic weekend. This is what a weekend off for me looks like. Off, when I'm like back home, is I'm running around doing all kinds of things. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys like these videos, please be sure to subscribe. Check out the Thank shop where I have all kinds of t-shirt designs I sell. And also, yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions. If anything I said was just crazy or didn't make sense or you want to comment on something I said, let me know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. See ya.